Peace and love, everybody. I hope you all are having a great day. It is so sunny and beautiful outside. And I decided to do this video outside in my backyard. So, what better place to do it? Today is all about law of scripting. Okay, if you follow me on my main page, you know I talk a lot about journaling, getting y'all a journal, writing stuff down, and really just getting acquainted with pen and paper because I feel like a lot of people underestimate the real power and the real true strength in writing something down. I wanna start off with what even is law of scripting? Law of scripting is when you actually are writing your life and you're manifesting it the way that you want it to without it even happening. And you do this usually by writing in third person or you can write like you already have it. So for instance, say for like my house. When I was journaling, I journaled all about the details. I journaled that I already had the house. I journaled that I saw myself waking up, cooking there. I saw myself letting the dogs out in the backyard. So I was writing in the present tense as if I already had it, as if it was already mine. I know a lot of people like to have a desired time to journal. Like me personally, I like to journal in the morning. Some people journal at night after work after a crazy day and these are all good things to do but we have to remember that the emotion has to be there the energy has to be there so you want to journal when you're at a time of your highest and I mean like crazy strong energy because when you're putting that strong positive energy behind what you're writing it will propel that manifestation into the universe and the energy will be right. Accountability is another good one. You wanna be accountable for what you're writing. You don't wanna write something and it's something that you're not even working towards. Like you need to put yourself in alignment with whatever you're trying to manifest. There's no reason to manifest a new car or a new job if you're not walking in the light of getting a new car or a new job. So for instance, say you're manifesting peace for yourself or love for yourself, okay? But at the same time, you're being doubtful of the situation, you're doubting yourself, you're not giving yourself the things first that you're asking for. You have to put yourself in alignment with whatever it is that you're seeking. And I think a lot of people leave that part out and that's why a lot of the time manifestation doesn't work for them. A lot of people are manifesting love right now. So you have to open space for whatever you're manifesting. So what that looks like if you are manifesting love, right? And I'll use this as an example because this is something very, very trendy in this generation that we are in. People love to have sneaky links. Okay. I used to have them too. You know, we like to have our list that we keep in our back pocket. But if we're trying to obtain a man or a future husband, having a sneaky link in a list is showing the universe that we're not even open to what we're asking for. You're not even leaving space for this said object that you're trying to manifest whether it be a man whether it be love peace whatever okay you have to allow space for these things so that they can come in and you will be open to receive them so another great tip that i've used and it works very well for me i love to leave stuff in my journal why would you manifest something and then tell the whole world about it i know we get excited and we're super high intense energy and we just want to share it with everyone that we love but in all honesty i like to keep a lot of things that especially when it's in the work. I'm not too sure of it. You know, I'm trying to remain faithful. I try not to tell people. It's okay to keep stuff to ourselves. It's okay to nurture these desires, these wishes and wants to ourselves. Just, you know, keep it there. Stay down until you come up. You also want to get yourself in the right mindset. You know, whatever this looks like. You have to put a candle on, burn some sage, burn some sandalwood, Palo Santo, clear the energy out, okay? Open a window. When I journal, I love to sit in my office and sit at my desk. I'll have the window open and I'll have my Palo Santo. I even clear my desk off of Florida water and I'll set my intent in my mind that I'm clean, this room is cleansed, and I'm going to manifest and set my intent to what I need to set it to. Everything's good to go. It's also a really good idea to set the intent with your pen as well as your journal that this particular journal and this particular pen is strictly for manifesting. The powers and the energy that are placed into this journal, into this pen, will only be utilized for manifesting and getting 
what I desire and what wishes that I have. So there's nothing wrong with like me personally, I keep my pen, my same pen that I write with every time I journal in my journal. It doesn't leave my journal. I leave it in there in the pages. It's always in the same place. Just have that main character energy. Start walking in the light of yourself. Okay, and I talked a little bit about this on live. If you guys don't already, please be sure. If you guys don't already, please be sure to follow me at that girl Vani on Instagram. I go live. I post super, super dope posts throughout the week about manifesting and spirituality and wellness. And also, you guys can follow me on my business page at These Hidden Gems, where I post an abundance of stuff. I do herbal tea blends. I make healing oils. What else I do? Necklaces, earrings, <laughs> a lot of things. Yoni steams. And I'm really, really just trying to uplift everybody. I know this is a very negative time. I sense the energy on IG. I've been on following a lot of people and that's another thing. Don't let anybody ever make you feel wrong for doing what's best for you. If you're seeing something, okay, if you're looking at something every day that's making you upset or that's making you triggered or taking you back to your past self or making it hard for you to heal through whatever you're healing from, then unfollow these people. But we don't have to, you know, look at these people just because they're our friends or we've known them for a long time. If it's making you uncomfortable and it's giving you this bad energy, this bad vibe, just don't look at it. Just don't even follow them. Get it off of your page. And that's really what I've been trying to do is make my page a more positive place. I don't follow Shave Room anymore. I really don't even like when people post it on their story that makes me want to unfollow them because they're being negative it's like us as black people we've had a lot of negative times okay and I know sometimes you know it's good it's, it's happy it's fun but I'm more so in the light of positivity and building the community and helping one another to rise to our higher selves if it does not look like that then I don't want to hear about it I don't care about it it's not me being a dickhead it's not me being rude I'm not in alignment with my higher good it's like anything that I have going on it's okay don't let people make you feel bad don't let people make you feel like you're a grandma because I've been called a grandma before and it's you know call me what y'all want but this is what I like this is what I want to take my time doing and also if you guys don't know already I will be partnering with one of my great great friends his name is Jay we have a dope project coming out it's called breaking the matrix I'm super excited about it September 17th at 4 p.m. it's going to be great so like I said be sure to follow me at that girl Vani on Instagram so you don't miss it it is going to be high energy high vibes like just just know it's going to be a very good project and I'm so excited but y'all have a great rest of your day I will see you all next time be sure to get some sun and make sure y'all are taking care of yourself take care of your vessel okay drink your water eat your fruit take your herb and stay out of the mix but I will see y'all next time talk to you later